Yo, what's good, YouTube? My name is Yudi Uchiha, and you see what we got going on right now. We got the Bleach Rebirth of Souls gameplay overview trailer. And man, I'm so excited that we even have this game even coming out. We got Sparking Zero on the horizon, and then you're gonna add a Bleach game on top of that. I'm a big, you already know I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, and I'm also a big Bleach fan too. So I'm really excited that we're finally getting a Bleach game for the first time in years. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and react to this trailer. Still haven't seen anything of this trailer whatsoever, and then we'll go go ahead and watch it again and break it down and all that good stuff. See what we notice and everything else, but yeah, let's go ahead, let's jump in, let's lock in. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I'm so excited, bro. I don't even know what to expect out of this, but you know what I'm saying? Okay, we got the moon. Do you want to fight? Who's that talking to win? The storm mode for this is gonna go crazy, to by the way. I heard it's going up to the Iran car arc. Oh, Zangetsu. Which is it? Looking clean. Sake is meaningless. Survival in itself is meaningless. Oh, the little transition. Dude, this game looks so good, man. Wielding swords that personify their soul. This game looks so good, dude. The visuals are great, which you love to see. No way, not to anyone. Your powers fall far short of my goat, Miyaku Yakuchki. Okay, we got the UI. Hold on. Hold on, all right. So we got the health. We got the health bars. We got the. We got some EX meters. Break down opponents, Kompaku. That looked kind of sick. I, I'm assuming that was a super. Oh my freaking go! My literally my favorite character. Wait, we got Simbon Zakura. Oh, oh, no way. Wait, is he fighting with... Is this the Bankai that he's fighting with? Yes, this is the Bankai he's fighting with. Hold on. Scatter. Send bone suck. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Oh, the Bankai! The Bankai looking so clean. In the midst of battle, accumulated power brings you to an awakened state. Unleashing your true power will overwhelm your opponent. Yo, so you get to yeah, so this is literally just like an awakening in like storm. You've reached your limit. Ichigo Kurosaki. I'm noticing something too, by the way. Are we getting the hollow mask? I'm not done yet. Oh no, we just getting the Bankai. Wait, I didn't re I didn't realize he wasn't even in Bankai yet. This song playing though, hold on. So I'm noticing something about the health bar. Noticing something about the health bar real quick. So I noticed it was going down by numbers. Something, that, that, that's something really interesting. Again, we're gonna go back and break this down, so. Dude, that looked so gas. What? <sighs> Who are you? <laughs> the hollow mask wishlist now. Give me the release date. Take your time though, please. I want this game to be really good. So yeah, you already know we're gonna go ahead and watch this back because my goodness. My goodness. So first things first, I want to go ahead and ask y'all how y'all feeling about this UI right now with the health gauges and the uh, bars down there, which I'm assuming pertain to the Bankai, I'm pretty sure. Makes makes the most sense, too, since we all know that you're going to be able to awaken your Bankai, as we saw in the trailer earlier. But I'm not going to lie, this UI not looking too bad. I wouldn't expect this to be the final uh, version of it. I'm sure they'll probably like change it up at some point, but it's not looking too bad. I've se we, we, we've seen worse, you know what I'm saying? Like We've seen some really basic ones. So for the most part, this ain't too bad. Again, I'm going to assume this is a very early build. So again, this is subject to change after all anyways, but not looking too bad. So the health bar is your reishi and you pretty much start with nine. I don't know if that's universal, like everybody's going to have nine. I would assume so. And pretty much, yeah, you just take down the health bars. Now, I don't know if that means that matches are going to be like hellified long or anything like that, but I'm assuming that the health bars can't be like super duper crazy. Like, I'm sure there's going to be ways to take down the health bar pretty fast, considering the fact that you have nine of these things, you know what I'm saying? But again, we'll have more 
of a look as we go on. All right, so let's go ahead, watch some things that I've noticed and stuff like that. We got some combo action going on. And right there, uh, going back to it, you saw Ichigo, Ichigo had like a green shield or whatever, like him blocking. I'm assuming that's just the regular, that's just how the block is going to look like. Uh, there is, in fact, a uh, shield gauge right here, like at the very bottom of the health bar, as you can see on Byakuya's side right here, um, that goes down again. Kind of reminded me of like Storm a little bit with, you know, you're not going to be able to block forever. At some point, your guard is going to break. So you got to choose wisely. Uh, I wonder if it's going to like refill after some time. I would assume so. Um, but that's something I definitely did take notice to at some point for sure. Now, shout out to the announcer right here because I definitely wasn't paying attention to this. Like I said, I was just straight up reacting the first time. But shout out to the announcer right here. Pretty much when you do a super attack from what this looks like right here, uh, you can take down the, the, the Reishi right there. Or the Kompaku, whatever it's called. So you saw how he went from 9 to 6. So, yeah, it's looking like super attacks are what's going to really bring it down for real. Alright, so this right here, basically you're like key chakra equivalent, stuff like that. So pretty much when you're attacking, you can build up your spiritual power gauge. And with that, you're able to use your super attacks and stuff like that. Like Byakuya had... Um, Seal, Senbon, Zakura, and then a whole attack called That Won't Touch Me. But, yeah, when you attack... Um, you pretty much build the, the power gauge, your spiritual power gauge, and you're going to be able to use your super attacks and stuff like that. Um, I wonder if there's going to be like a charge mechanic, like, you know, how you could charge your chakra in the Naruto games or like in the, in the Dragon Ball Z games, you can charge your key, stuff like that. I wonder if there's going to be able to wait to charge or if the way you charge is like, or you're going to just have it like from, from the get, and then you got to like build it up again. Uh, and maybe I like, I don't, I don't really know. Maybe I missed some details there, but we're going to go back and see. That boy Ichigo using the Getsuga Tencho. Byakuya fighting with the Zenbon Zakura. This isn't the, this isn't the Bankai yet. That's just a regular, that's just regular Zenbon Zakura. Ah, look at my boy. And then that brought, that brought it down to six as well. Bro, my goat! In the midst of battle, accumulated power brings you to an awakened state. Unleashing your true power will overwhelm your opponent. You know what's funny? So, one thing I want to point out. I've honestly, like, in Storm, I didn't really use awakenings like that. Now, why, why I didn't use awakenings like that? Honestly, couldn't really tell you. But, I think for stuff like Bleach, man... I got to drop that down, bro. I'm going I'm going to use the Bankai, bro. The Bankai going to be sick. Like I got to use it. Like especially look at my boy, bro. And then that brought it down to 2. He was just at 6. And then Ichigo's about to go into his Bankai as well. This is my Bankai. Dude, he looks so sick, man. Can you keep up and rapid? Was it rapid slash? That's what that was called. Yeah, rapid slash. Oh, this looks so sick, man. So he used he used this super attack as well, and it brought it down to two. So the health bar system, honestly, is very interesting. There's definitely a lot different than your usual, like you know, just bring your health opponent's health bar to zero. I mean, this is essentially what it is, but like, you know. If you want to get down like a good amount of health, like you definitely got to use your super attacks and stuff like that. Uh, and then we got this nice ass shot of Hollow Ichigo or Hollow Mask Ichigo. Um, yeah, that's that's actually it's actually really interesting the way that the way all of that's working for sure. Um, I'm definitely I'm definitely here for it for sure. I'm definitely here for that uh, for something a little different. It's basically bring your health bar down to zero. But like if you really want to do like real damage and stuff like that, you got to be like using your you know, your super attacks, like, like your get to Gatensho and like a Senbon Zakura and stuff like that. You know, I'm sure we're going to get even more in depth details and stuff like that. But from what I'm seeing, I'm like what I'm seeing so far. But yeah, that was the Bleach Rebirth of Souls gameplay overview. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys like what you see so far? Are there things that you are critical of and stuff like that? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this. I honestly thought it was pretty sick. I think the health bar system definitely, while different and interesting, I feel like 
it didn't have to be like that, but like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they'll change some things around. Maybe it'll become simplified. Who knows? Definitely a bit confusing for some people that, you know, might not even know what's going on. Like the super duper casual players uh, definitely might be a bit confusing, but I like what I saw so far. Visually incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it looks really, really good. And I can't wait to see more. I'm glad that we got to see as much as we've seen so far so soon as well, too, because, you know, we got our trailer uh, a while back. And then, you know, we could have probably gone a long time without seeing anything after that. But the fact that we've gotten some gameplay even after the fact, even though that trailer, that trailer was like about almost three weeks ago. Um, the fact that we're getting gameplay now already, you're definitely very thankful for and very grateful for that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I definitely got some things that I definitely want to talk about and probably like a separate video or whatever of just basically everything that we've seen so far. And yeah, but I like what I'm seeing so far for the most part. The gameplay is looking really cool, really nice visually. Uh, definitely want to see more of the combo system and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the, when it comes to the Bankai Awakening and stuff like that, definitely looks a lot, you know, like Storm-esque and stuff like that. Um, and again, the health, the health bar system, I think it's I think it's interesting for the most part. I think it's cool, but we might might not be like that super necessary. But, you know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, if you're looking forward to Sparking Zero and Bleach content in the future, be sure to subscribe as I'm definitely going to be going hard on both those games for sure. Sparking Zero is almost here. We got like what, like roughly two months left of waiting or whatever the case may be, three months. Um, and, you know, Bleach Reverb for Souls whenever this drops. I will be there for sure no matter what. But yeah, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.